Well, good morning, East Texas. Outside, check out these temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. So it is definitely a little on the warm and toasty side. We'll take a look at the current surface map. We're looking pretty good in terms of no rainfall on the map, but there are some scattered patchy clouds and even a little patchy dense fog trying to develop, but nothing like what we've seen the past couple of mornings. Area of high pressure still stuck to our east, giving us that return flow out of the south that pumps in the warmth and the humidity from the Gulf of Mexico. So that is something we will feel once again as we progress throughout the afternoon. But do note, we do have a cold front. Yes, a cold front just off to our north and west. That will impact us as we head towards the upcoming weekend. But for today, nothing cold about it. We're talking about mid to upper 70s to start. We'll be in the upper 80s to near 90 by lunchtime. Notice some of these cumulus clouds bubbling up with the heat and the humidity kind of mixing together to cook up some of those clouds. We'll be in the low to mid 90s as we go throughout the afternoon. Most of us mid 90s with the three H's, hazy, hot and humid weather sticking around. And then we'll see more of the same as we go throughout your Friday, but with just a tad more moisture, we could see a couple of these pop up showers bubbling up across deep east Texas. We're going to give it about a 20 percent chance again, mainly from Nacogdoches, Lufkin down towards the San Augustine area and points towards the south. Otherwise, heading into your Friday evening for football, Right now, I'm going to keep it dry. That cold front staying just to our north and west with showers across the Red River. Those may start to sink towards East Texas, though, as we head towards your Saturday morning. And notice throughout your day on Saturday, as that cold front begins to make its way into the area, off and on chances of scattered showers and storms. Not a ton of moisture, so this is not going to be a heavy rainfall event. But yeah, we could see a half inch or so or less of scattered shower activity making its way through the area at times throughout your Saturday and early Sunday. Still, to finish out the week, our temperatures average above normal, but by the middle to latter half of next week. I'm watching for our first significant surge of cool air. So keep your fingers crossed and stay tuned for that. But for today, mid-90s, nothing cool about it. Maybe an isolated shower south Friday. Better rain chances area-wide Saturday and early Sunday. And then we'll wait for that second front by Wednesday heading into the end of next week for potentially some more significant cooler air. Mara?